Hey guys, so today I have a quick little project share and tutorial at the end of this video, process um, video. Um, I made this super little cute um, perfume bottle. Um, I don't think you could see really because of the, the glare of the camera, but and then the, the glitter that's inside. But there is a picture in the back of that glitter. There is the lovely image that I got off of Pinterest of Lily. I forgot her last name. Let's see if I can get it to settle. I forget what's that pretty lady that we we all have images of her. I don't think there you go. You can see some of it. Lily. Well, anyway, so this is what I did. I have these little containers that I have down at my shop and if you don't see them there at Crafty Kim shop then just um, leave me a comment in the bottom of this video and I will see if I uh, why it's not showing um, so I used those and I, I had them lying around for some time and I said well it's time to start using old things um, Instead of buying, 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 like I'm sure we all do, we collect, collect, collect. Every time something new comes out, we've got to have it. So um, these little containers I've had for a while, I didn't do anything special in the back because I plan to write a sentiment here to the person that um, receives this cute little perfume bottle. So I had, like I was saying, I had those lying around and I said, hmm. Because the first thing that I had did with the little container was this little shaker, snow globe. Because I've been working on a few snow globes that I will share with you in another video. So I made this little shaker snow globe. I don't know if you want to call it. Well, it's not a globe, so it can't be a snow globe, but a shaker, snow shaker. Well, anyway, I have a cute little saturated canary in the back and one of the magnolia trees that I colored. And I got this little shreddings of snow that you get from the Dollar Tree. And, of course, the little container and I added some bling from my shop. I also have this in my shop if you are interested and this so when i made the the little shaker and because it's made to stand it stands up i said hmm it looks like a perfume bottle so let me make a perfume bottle and i think i will make one with the bling i think it looks cute with the bling it's a perfume bottle so i went and i said hmm i wonder if i could actually make this into a liquid shaker so I did. I was able to succeed at doing that. And I just added the picture in the back. And had fun decorating and putting all the goodies and yumminess all around it. I mean, like, the camera does not give it justice as how cute it looks. It's very stunning in person. Um, it's extremely cute. And the glitter is just so pretty. I have some pink hearts in there, so... Um, gold glitter and some white powder glitter as well so and these are all just appliques that I have I have not put them in my shop I've been lazy but I have thousands of appliques I have bags upon app bags of appliques the only thing is that my appliques are not they don't have any bling on them or anything like that but they are so versatile you can use them on so many projects and so many thousands of ways oh and this i also have if you're interested in purchasing some of these i have them in this pink baby pink color and i also have them in a baby blue cover color and this you could also use to store glitter you could put some beads in here you could put some glitter in here i mean how cool would that be if you had all your little glitter samples inside a bunch of these and all of these this would also be good for like birthday parties anniversaries first birthday put the baby's picture inside i mean like it's endless the things you can do make an ornament a perfume bottle ornament it goes on and on and on so i'm gonna show you guys how i got the liquid with the glitter inside and how it doesn't leak 
I guess it doesn't spill. So too bad you can't really see the picture. Maybe I'll put up some pictures of this up close when um, I'm done with the tutorial. So let's get Okay, so to make this, what you are going to need is, of course, the little container. You're going to need um, hot glue. You're going to need your glitter or whatever you plan to put inside maybe you don't want to put anything inside you could put beads you could put pearls um you could put toys i was looking to see if i had an actual toy that i could put inside but i don't have no toys and nothing really fit so i just may use an image in the back i might not use an image in the back it all depends on on how I feel when I get to that point. So the first thing the first thing that we are going to do is make sure that you have your container clean as possible. Take out any dust, anything that you don't want inside once it's sealed. Then um, I am going to use some more pink glitter and I have a hot mess on my table so you might just hear a lot of things crumbling and falling because I've just been all day working on snow globes and I have a very small space to work on work with and everything is just like piled up so I'm gonna put some some pink little heart shaped glitter inside and I'm gonna see what other. I should have had the other glitter out, but I didn't. So I'm gonna go to my stash real quick and get out some sequins. love sparkle anything that sparkles is so pretty but of course i might just use some glitter background paper and not put an image this time i'm not sure yet probably whoops i think i see a hot pink in here it's not that bad actually i think i'm gonna get some hot pink so now i have added my colors of sequins inside. I am now going to get some regular Johnson's baby oil and you can use dishwashing soap. Um, you could use water but I think that this will hold up a little bit better than the... Um, if you put toys inside then you would definitely want to use the dishwashing soap because I believe that the dishwashing soap gives the toys a slower movement. Like they would move around inside much slower. Kids kind of like that kind of stuff. Okay, so now that I have placed, and the only bad thing about this is that even if you fill it to the top, it's you're always going to have that gap of um, missing space because the depth, the deepness of it is not as tall as the height. So you're going to have some. So get that as close as possible to the rim. Get your glue gun. What will we do without our glue gun, right? And just pour it on. And you want to be very, very generous. Oops, I think some went inside. I've never let any fall inside until now. Always while you're recording. Everything goes wrong. Okay. So... 
show that we have our cap. Oh shoot, I have a I have a crack in my cap, so I'm gonna have to seal that baby. So try to smooth down all the edges. You can already see some is already peering out. And that is due to the fact that I have a crack in my cover. So make sure you choose one that does not have a crack because you will get leakage from the corners. So I'm just gonna add some more on the outside because I'm gonna decorate this anyway, so it's not gonna matter. And let's see, where's that crack at? Can't see it at the moment, but there's a crack on my cover. So once it kind of sets a little bit, go in again and find that crack. So I'm gonna get a piece of napkin to sort of dry off the baby oil because the baby oil is slick and it won't let the glue grab the way it's supposed to. Just keep dabbing it on, putting it on, sealing it as much as you can, rubbing it with your finger. The main places are always the corners. Those are the places where you, you get the most leakage, just the corners. So I'm going to let it sit a little bit because I think that the baby oil is not going to let it sit so much. So I'm going to let it sit fine. Okay, so for the sake of time, I would, I would have taken my time, but I did add lots and lots of glue for this one just for the sake of time for the tutorial. But of course, you would definitely take your time doing this. But I'm going to cover it anyway, so I don't think it really matters. So that's the way the shaker looks. Okay guys, so this is the end result of the bottle that I was making um, in the mini little tutorial. I just added a whole bunch of appliques, ribbon and trim. Um, I'm still going to add some bling. I think that it needs something shiny, something sparkly. Um, so, um, but this is basically what it looks like. And I just added in the background, I forgot to show you, but I added this um, vintage little girl in the back. And you guys can see that I added some hot pink sequins, some little heart-shaped glitter, some iridescent white sequins. And so it, I think it came out pretty cool. Um, this would be great as an ornament. How cute it would be to add your own kid's picture in the background or add a picture of a sentiment in the background. I think it came out really, really cute. So have fun um, making your little creations with those little cases. There's so many things you could do with these little cases. So, um, thank you guys for watching. Leave a comment in the comments area below. Um, if you have any questions, um, feel free to ask. I will definitely get back to you on that. And if you haven't already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.